Okay, so the final mode I want to talk about <clears throat> is the performance mode. And, and, and this is the mode where I've done the least amount of work. I'm, I'm not going to lie. Uh, it, it could use some love and it will get some love. And it's the one, one area where it's kind of still in a, a state of development. So I'm going to try to demo what I've done so far with it. Uh, and hopefully there's no, nothing, no major bugs uh, to, to deal with. So I'm going to go ahead and click on into performance mode. And you'll notice performance mode, uh, for one, the grid is off by default. Let me turn on the grid so you can see the grid back there. So I'll turn the, the grid is off by default. Um, but what you're seeing is essentially similar to a pattern mode in that the first two rows represent a, a, a row of something and the next two rows represent a row of something. Okay. In regular perform mode, currently the way it's programmed is this will show you 16 and 16. So you'll have up to 32 uh things listed here. And these, by the way, even though they're colored like a pattern or a channel, that's not what they are. That's not what they represent. These in perform mode represent, if you look in FL Studio where I'm moving the mouse, see this area here? These are called playlist tracks. So these represent playlist tracks. And if you notice, the last three tracks in my list happen to be muted. And if you look at my uh, under button for those last three, they're grayed out. They're not lit. And that is exactly what's going on and, and the purpose for this. this. These buttons below the colors will mute that playlist track. So for example, um, let me hit play. Actually, let me go back into pattern mo uh, song mode and we'll hit play. You can hear there's a keyboard playing and the drums. So I know the drums are on this channel. So when I hit this, now you notice it didn't mute out right away. It waited until it hit the end of its normal loop. And the same will happen if I turn it on. It's not playing until three, two, one, and it comes back. So these will always go in and out, uh, basically on the beat. You could turn off the keyboard, but you notice it's playing because it hasn't hit the end of its loop yet. Now when it hits the end, it turns itself off. Okay. So that's what this controls. And I picture this as a way of just doing kind of live uh, uh, arrangement or not live, but maybe you're getting ideas. Uh, what if these three parts played together and then uh, we took out that part or whatever. You could use this kind of, uh, that's what I mean by like a real-time uh, listening. Um, if you click the top button, what happens is these things kind of glow a little brighter. And if you hit them again, they, 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 they un undim. But what you're doing by, by, by highlighting them is you're actually selecting them. And if you look in FL Studio, these little squares here by where the mouse is, is moving, you can see the green uh, rectangle indicating that that is a selected playlist track. So you could select them. And then very similarly to pattern mode, if you go into Alt Perform, it will then only show you on the first two rows only just your selected playlist tracks. And then from here, you can mute and unmute them. So let's just say you had a, a set that you were working with. You could mute out everything else, load up just your set, and then figure out your arrangement or what comes in and goes out, etc. Below that, <clears throat> you have one of my experimental features. It's not done yet. I'm going to try to explain it to you, but it may or may not uh, function, to be honest with you. These two rows work one plus one, give you a progress bar, okay? Currently, you only see four things lit with the yellow being uh, on. And the yellow's on because that's the bar. These represent a bar each. It's currently the playlist or the play, uh, whatever, the, the pl it's play is on zero. It's on the first bar. But if I hit play, 
what you should see is this is now moving. So when this plays bar three, bar four, and it's going to return. The other thing I didn't point out to you is these lights coming down the side here. These are once every beat, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, like that, right? And then on the last bar, it turns red. And the reason why it does that is because if you were using this to record or to, 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 to do something with, it would be useful for you to know when it's about to restart the, uh, the cycle again. So that's why that's colored that way. But this progress indicator is one bar uh, per button. So I could stretch this out. And I'm just going to do it with the mouse right now. But I could stretch this out so that now my uh, my song is is eight bars long. And you can see this has grown to show me that, yep, you're eight bars long. And, and just to so you get a clear understanding, these don't work in an up-down pair. It just rolls over. So if I was to make this 23 bars long, you can see how it now wrapped around to here. And if I hit play... It'll just happily move through, and all that extra is going to be silence, obviously. But you're just going to see it's just going to keep on, just keep on moving down the road. You can also click on these to go to that spot. So if I wanted to go quickly back to the beginning, I could just click over there or go to the end, let it play, and then start over again. Okay. Uh, another feature which is not fully implemented, but I just wanted to show it off because I like it, is uh, if you uh, alt press a progress, what you should see now, and you'll notice in, in FL Studio, is it created a, uh, a time marker for me there. Now it says NFX number five because the five comes from the fact that it's the fifth, the fifth button. You see, so if I was to create a, a, a another one here, let's say, uh, I'll go Alt Bang, it now created one at the ninth pad, so it's called NFX number nine. Okay, and then if I hit it again, it takes it out, so I can add and remove these things. Now my goal is, once you have your your uh, markers in place you could say oh i want to loop marker five and it will allow you then to loop whatever marker five is your verse so marker five is gonna is gonna loop your verse for you or whatever but that's how the um the the uh the the progress bar currently works now if this ever got long enough that you couldn't fit all of them on the on the 32 uh these other buttons would scale it so Instead of seeing one bar per, you could hit a button and it'll show you two bars per or four bars per. There's even a mode where it could just split the entire song into 32 parts and give you access to that. But that's all experimental, not 100% ready for, uh, for showing off. But there is that bar, so you can use that as well. And uh, that's it for performance mode. I know that's not as uh, maybe as, as impressive as pattern mode. But there you go. So um, at the end of the day, I hope you can see uh, all the benefit that this, uh, this plugin provides to you.